So now we are going to do the bag sort for the third bag in the bottom border pack, which is um, the 10 through 13 triangles. And we have been using the book to sort our pieces. And so I'm now working on number 10. And this is modified, like most of the triangles are modified because they're easier to paper piece that way. So you're gonna go to your book and pull that layout out. And then we're gonna dump out the bag. And there's a lot of little tiny pieces in here apparently. And let's see what we got. So I'm gonna start matching up some pieces and grouping them as I see them. As I'm sorting through these, I'm going to um, find these, this bottom spot. It's not just a triangle, but it has these little ledges on the side, so there's a flat edge to it. So there may be another one in here that's similar, but it doesn't have a pointy side. So as I'm putting some of these longer pieces from other triangles aside, putting the little pieces in one section and the squares in one section. And so it's a matter of trial and error with these triangles. So I'm still working on finding my pieces. You've got mirror images of these pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six sizes of these diamonds are the exact same size. This particular one on the point, this diamond on the point, is um, not reversible. So if you stick it upside down, it's not going to work out. So make sure that you put it in the right, facing the right direction. And I'm trying to figure out which pieces these are. I'm having a little bit of an issue matching the angles of some of these triangles. And so it's just a matter of playing with it to see what fits. I found one of these, and so there's another one obviously that goes here, that size, but I'm having issues finding. Okay, so this is obviously too large, so I need something smaller with the right angle, maybe? That doesn't quite fit. Maybe if I flip it around. Okay, so you have a right angle here, but these angles are not the same. So if this is the correct way, but if I flip this the wrong direction, it doesn't quite fit. So make sure that you are picky about orientation and placement. So this is going to fit right in there. And this is something I really like my stiletto for, is to be able to place this. And then I believe that this is the other one, and I think it goes this way. But we're going to find out here. Okay, and now it's just a matter of finding this other triangle in the pile. So I'm kind of having an issue finding this last triangle, because a lot of them are very similar. So I'm going to take this one out and could match it up to the other ones here. So I actually put it on top to verify that it was the same piece, and it is. So put one of them here, and the other one obviously on the other side. Now that I've got my pieces laid out, I'm going to mark them. I'm gonna mark each piece with I, I do mine BR instead of BB, just because I do bottom row, but you can do whatever you want. I mark every piece, because if I spill them somewhere, I want to know exactly where they go. And I'm also going to number them with an ink pen. This is a fine tip Sharpie. I'm going to number them with an ink pen as I'm taking them off. Now I've got all my pieces marked with the BR10. Now I'm going to look at the picture and see where the focus fabric is 
and mark that and keeping in mind that this is upside down to this so you've got the bottom and then these two and then these two and then they redid the point so they did this one and this one and then they had a little bit of white here and then the focus fabric and I guess that's a personal choice on whether or not you want this to be one big point or if you want this to be background I'm gonna leave mine as background even though here it's got it to the point that's because they had this pieces here this was all little bits so they had these pieces as focus fabrics and this was background and these were background so I'm gonna leave mine like that but I could I'm kind of a 50 50 on this that could make this and this would be all one color in the point but I'm gonna leave it like that and so then I'm gonna check my fabric to see if it's directional this is my fabric for this block and since it's flowers it is going to be directional even though the fabric itself like this flower I think this is the top and then this one's the other way but I am going to mark this as a directional block because there is a top and a bottom to these flowers even if they are spun around in different directions and then my background is not directional so I'm going to take an ink pen and mark an arrow and it doesn't really matter where you mark the arrow as long as every piece of the focus fabric which is the red dots has the arrow in the same direction and then so like for these you want it to go in the same direction and you want it to be long enough so that when you put it on your fabric you know what that means so I will put an arrow here because I'm not going to put arrows on my paper other than here so that I know which way they're supposed to be oriented when I go to put these back together. Now as I remove these I'm going to number these and you can number them however you want but just be you know consistent with how you do it that way I know which ones go where I found this is easier on these triangles because some of these pieces, once they come out of their, spi their spot, it's, hard, it's easy to mix them up. So, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to bag it in my baggie with my fabric. So, turn the page and on to the 11 block. These, actually 11 and 12, we're going to work directly out of the book. And obviously, this one's going to have all of the tiny bits that we were working on with the other ones so this is just going to be a matter of, of taking all these little tiny pieces like these and putting them in place and because they're from the book and the math is a little different on the algorithms they may not exactly match up on this because see how this is a little longer but obviously that goes there so they need to match up to themselves is what it boils down to so I'm gonna start placing some of this stuff that I know where it goes like for example um, this big piece down here and then you need the ends so that's gonna fit and then I'm gonna find the ends and then I'm gonna build this and as long as this fits into this shape at the end, I'm going to be okay. But this looks like it's going to be challenging as I go. So I'm going to get all my little bits up here and start laying this out. So you can see that these, these squares are already smaller than these squares. And it's clear because there's no other squares in here, anywhere close to this size, that this is the right size square for this block that uh, this was the intended size um, so we're gonna we're gonna move forward with that and then I'll be able to connect these with all these pieces some of these little pieces some of these have angles so make sure you get those and then there's this one that has an angle 
and this is tapered so this looks like it's one of these so as I'm putting this together I'm trying to figure out where my guidelines are um, I've put these here but I'm not sure you know these are thinner I found this piece and what I realized is if you put this edge on then that makes up for this this uh, inaccuracy here so I'm just going to put this scoot this together with each other because this was one piece of paper before it was cut so if I can make this all fit together that will be a win for me so I've got this these little bits going on as I'm finding them all right so I've gotten to the tip and all of this stuff fits into the triangle even though it is not quite lined up with itself but it lines or it lines up doesn't line up exactly with the lines but it lines up with itself excuse me so I found this triangle it's the only triangle that has a right triangle with two equal sides that's small enough to fit here so when I put this here I'm gonna fit this to this paper piece and it fits to the paper piece but then of course it's not quite the right angle that's okay you're gonna find I found this little piece that fits right there and so then that makes a single line of paper right there and then this fits to that so even though this one doesn't line up exactly with the book you get the idea and it fits at the end of the day so now I'm going to label each one of my pieces with BR11 before I mark them for focus fabric so I've got my pieces labeled with my block number now I've got to mark my focus fabric pieces which are over here we've got this big bar and then the big squares the three big squares one two three and then the four little squares one two three four and then this one because the one that connects the squares is background so the one next to it is focus fabric and then this triangle and then this triangle are your focus fabrics I don't know which fabric I have for this one so I'm going to mark it for directional. So I've taken my ink pen and labeled it for the directional fabric on all of my focus fabric pieces. And now I'm going to number my pieces as I take them off. Even though they don't quite line up with the book, placement is still the same because it has the same number of pieces. And then I'm going to bag these up and move on to my next section. Now we're going to work on the 12th triangle for the bottom row. Um, this strange piece is obviously goes here. I've been debating about how to handle this because I don't like having to deal with fabric on an inside point like that because you have to cut it and then when you cut it, you have to be careful not to cut it too far. You're actually undermining um, the fabric itself. So I'm going to cut the paper. Um, and you can cut it this way or this way or straight down. And that's what I've been debating. I haven't really figured out what to do about that. But I am going to cut it because I don't want to deal with an inside point like that. So... Um, aside from that, I've got all of my other pieces I'm going to work on assembling here. And obviously that doesn't go there. So as I find these pieces, because there's two sets of triangles left. There's this. Well, those aren't the set. That's not a set. But um, there's four, four decent sized triangles left. And obviously I think these two... I wonder if you could mess this up. Yeah, so there is a there is a correct flip on this. So that's that's the same as this. But if I flip it back over, it'll fit. 
in its spot. So I will find the pieces for this. Obviously, these little skinny pieces go up in this corner when I get there as I work my way up. So what I've decided to do with this piece is I'm going to line this up and I'm going to make it one line because if I cut it this way, then you're dealing with an angle that's over 90 degrees and then you have a problem finding the edge on those. But if I just turn this into a triangle and then this is a right angle, I only have one of those angles to worry about instead of two or more. Um, so I'm going to line this up right on the edge and mark with my pen. Now when you go to cut it, you're gonna cut on the inside of this pen line because there's a thickness to the pen line, but you're also gonna mark this in your book to say what you did so that when you number your pieces, you know what the heck's going on. So I'm gonna do that. So then I have two pieces on the bottom here that'll go together easier. When I put these together, I'm going to line this up on the bottom. It's not going to be fun, but, you know, anyway. So I will get a scissors and snap that, but um, this is for the next block. But I will get back to placing my pieces. All right, so I went to find, I got four diamonds. They're all the same. Um, I found one, and I placed it with no problem. And then I went to find another one and it didn't match the piece. So, because I put this here like it belongs because it matches up with the diamond. It really does, I swear. There you go. Now, this isn't quite, you know, lined up to the book, but like before, if it lines up to itself, then it's good. And then I grabbed another diamond and couldn't figure out what was wrong well we have two sets of diamonds left at this point so you have a long skinny diamond these are all the pieces that go between the diamonds so I'm gonna set these here and this is for a different block which is obviously 13 because that's the only one left so I've got this kind of diamonds with the long piece and then I've got this kind of diamond which is these are the correct ones but if you don't know this, you're going to be a little off. So one is smaller than the other and not as long. So make sure that there's four that fit together. These fit fit together, you know, like they were cut from the same cookie cutter. So then you just stick them in place as you work around the center. So I've got my all my pieces and I've sliced this as I marked it. So I'm going to label all of these BR12 and then once that's done I'll be able to figure out which ones get focus fabric. So now I've got my pieces labeled and I'm going to mark my focus fabrics. I've got this bottom section and then these two big triangles and then the diamond in the middle and then the little diamond that surrounds it. Three, four, and the rest of this is background. And again, I don't know my fabrics because I haven't gotten them out, so I'm just going to label these for directional just in case. I've labeled my pieces for directional and now I'm numbering them and as I was numbering them I mark them on here so I got these pieces and so as I continue I move it and mark it so I know that I'm numbering it the right way. If I want to do a couple at a time I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So I'm going to finish numbering these and then I'll bag them up to move on to the last block. Now we're on the final block. Um, this is a modified block. And I think the only modification is that the point is converted into one piece. So I'm going to work from this so that I know that my sizes are accurate. 
Obviously these are going to go on the edges and all the other pieces that I have left are going to be a part of this triangle. And I got all these little bitties right here. I'm going to place these first. I think they might be the same, but I'm not positive. So let's check here. Nope, they're not the same. So there's I'm checking the base here and then the base on this one so that they're in the right location. So this one's a little bigger than this one. And then I will get all of the rest of the diamonds and the triangles in place. Now all the rest of my pieces are in place and I will label each of my pieces for BR13. So I've marked my focus fabric. You've got these uh, big point triangles as your focus fabric, the big giant piece on the bottom, and then the individual diamonds are all going to be focus fabric. I've also labeled them for directional in case I have a directional fabric. And now I'm going to number them just in case I have to have any kind of differences between them. This prevents that from happening. And as I number them, I'll pull them away, and then I'm going to put them in a baggie of their own, and I will be able to be done with this bag sort for the entire, um, this is the last bag sort for the entire bottom row.